Hello. So I just came back from taking Charlie, trying to take Charlie to go do his business, but he peed, but he wouldn't do the other one. And I know he has to go because he's got gas and it's a van, a small area. And, um, I don't want to smell it, but he can't do it. He's a little chihuahua and he can't walk in this. Um, I've got enough pee pads for tonight, but I'm gonna have to get more tomorrow. So, um, Oh God. So when I say that I hate snow and I hate winter, it's an understatement. Um, I despise it. It, I, it comes from the devil as far as I'm concerned. I've hated it. Like ever since I was a child, I, I would cry when my mom put the snowsuit on and when she'd say, okay, you have to go outside and play. I'd be like, no. <laughs> and I would just not understand why everyone was having so much fun, like why people were making snow angels. And um, I couldn't stand the feeling of the snow and the wetness and the cold. I just have such a diversion. Is that the right word? I just, I can't do it. And it, and now as I am an adult, it causes me depression. Um. I just need it to be over. I, I, next year I can't be here. I'm going to hopefully have a different vehicle and I'm just going to take off to Mexico until this shit's over. I can't do it again. I can't. Um, every year it gets worse for me. Um, uh, depression wise, this weather, it just gets worse and I don't want to be an old person being depressed in the winter time. So, um, anyway, yeah. I know everyone else loves this stuff, but I'm the weirdo who doesn't. Um, yeah, so uh, here in New, where I live, the police are, I just think they're awesome. They're very kind and um, they're not like the Vancouver police, which I, I think are dicks. But um, here they're just totally different, which I was not used to because I was used to the Vancouver police. Um, so... They, these guys put a, I'm on their Facebook page and they put a, a post saying if anyone's in distress, needs help getting their car out of a sticky spot, just give us, reach out to us and we'll help. And that shows a picture of them, four police officers pulling a, pushing a car out. I'm like, oh, maybe they can help me. And then I was like, so I sent them a message, but I was careful not to say that I lived in my van. And then while I was talking to them, I realized if they come help me, they're going to see I live in a van and I don't know what they're going to say. I mean, they, them, they would be more concerned about my safety, not about me breaking any kind of law, which there's no law, but against living in your vehicle, but they'd be more on the caring side. So whereas the Vancouver cops would be like, not like that at all. Um, the Vancouver cops would be, that's your tough luck kind of a thing find a shelter something like that right but these guys I don't know they're more caring about it um so I as I was messaging with them I just said um I went to the I just said I'm really worried because I'm in a three-hour parking spot and I've been here all day and the van is the vehicle is going to be here all night and probably half of tomorrow until the weather changes and they said, don't even worry about it. Don't lose sleep over it. Um, the city knows of the situation that there's tons of vehicles stuck in three-hour parking zones and no one's going to get a ticket. The Vancouver, they would totally ticket you. I know they would. They're they're dicks over there. Um, and or, I know the cops don't do the ticketing, but just Vancouver in general, they would ticket. Like, so, um, yeah, that's what's going on. And tonight at around 1 a.m. is going to get up down to negative 10. It shows for like an hour, but the weather keeps changing all day. So it was supposed to start snowing at 4 and it never did. Um, so if I call BCA tomorrow, they can just pull me out. The roads are not bad. They're just slushy. I know they're going to be frozen tomorrow morning. So we'll see. I need to work. because If I don't work, I'm going to start running out of fun soon. Um, okay. So I hope that everyone stays warm and safe and warm and the best you can for you all living in your vehicles. 
And I'm just going to go and turn the heat up and pop back in the back there and try and make the most of it.